fellow hams. I want to show you a solution that I've come across for a problem that plagued me for quite a while. I wanted to use rig control with my Yezu FT817 and uh, as you know on the Yezus they have a, uh, a rig control connector on the back that uses serial data. Now I discovered that that uh, is a the same that port is the same configuration as a common PS2 keyboard cable and the PS2 keyboard cable has the right wires in it so I was able to cut the uh, cable off of an old PS2 keyboard that I had laying around that had some dead keys and use that for the uh, radio side of the interface for serial uh, my netbook that I'm using at the uh, ham station does not have a serial port but it has USB ports so I have this key span uh, USB to 9 pin serial interface Real simple to use. Uh, drivers are readily available for Windows. On Linux, I didn't have to do anything but plug it in. Um, the Linux kernel just recognized it right away, so there was no, no issue there. The issue that I had was as soon as this interface went live, I heard noise in various spots of the ham radio uh, band spectrums on 20 meters, 40 meters, up in the uh, upper bands, down in the lower bands, 80 meters, all over the place. I heard sort of a buzzing um, noise, sometimes it had a pitch to it, a tone to it, sometimes it was hash sounding and it was related to this. When I would plug this into the computer the noise would appear. Um, when I plugged the rig interface cable into the radio, the noise got worse. A lot worse. I mean really bad. And it was right at two of the points on the 20 meter band and the 40 meter band where digital modes are prevalent. So it was practically useless for what I wanted it for, which was digital uh, rig control in FL Digi or WSJTX. Um, so I, that, was the, that was the problem. Now I uh, tried something and it worked absolutely perfectly. I could not believe how well it worked. So let me back the camera out and I'll show you. Okay, so this is my PS2 cable that comes from the key span. Looky there. You see that? I got this toroid core. I happen to have it. Now I'll, uh, I'll look it up and I'll, I'll link to it um, here on the video and down in the description below um, where you can buy these. So it's a larger toroid core. It's uh, two inches. It's a two inch core. Big enough to thread the PS2 end through and I wrapped as many turns as I could squeeze in there, nice and even, all the way around, locked down with a couple of zip ties. There's the 9-pin end, there's the end that goes to the Azu. That almost completely eliminated the noise. Almost. It was still barely there at the static level, but this would probably be enough to uh, eliminate the noise problem in your case. But I wanted to go a little further. I didn't have another toroid on hand, but I, you could use another one of these. What I did have was a couple of clip-on toroids, and this is what I did on the USB end. I, uh, I wound it as many times as I could and leave, left a little slack to plug into the computer, and I clipped on these two toroid cores that I had, and uh, that completely 100% eliminated all digital noise coming from the computer when I plugged in the rig interface cable. So that's all you need to do. Wrap your USB cable around a toroid as many times as you can. So that's on the computer end. And then wrap the uh, cable going to your radio around a toroid as many times as you can on the uh, cable that goes up to the radio. And what this does is it eliminates common mode noise. Um, the signals that you're interested in, the serial signals, they're differential. They're on two different wires. They're not the same. They're going in, they're going in different directions. They're coming on at different times. Um, the interference noise coming from the USB from this device is common mode, meaning the same noise signal is present on all the conductors all the way down the wire. So wrapping this choke chokes off those common mode signals but does not affect the differential signals, the serial signals on the serial lines. So rig control works perfectly and between these two filters no more noise. Absolutely none. Perfectly silent no interference at all from the uh, serial interface on the radio. So there you go, just a short tip video. Get yourself a couple of toroid cores, 
wrap your rig interface cable, wrap your USB cable, and goodbye noise. Nice clean HF when you're using rig control. Thanks for watching, 73, and see you on the air.